Hello guys, good evening. How are you doing today? Hello teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hello, good evening guys. It's a pleasure for me to be once again with you for another class. Um, well, um, first of all guys, we're going to start, well, I'm going to start asking you questions about yesterday's topic and just to verify if you understood. So uh, what, what do you remember about yesterday's class, guys? Can someone tell me? Demonstrativos, pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns, yes. What, what can you guys tell me about it? What do you remember? How do we use demonstrative pronouns? That. All right. So let me see, Rufino Amilcar, how do I make a question using a demonstrative pronoun? Uh, question. How do I make a question? Uh, the, the form? The form? Yeah. The formula or the structure that you uh, need to follow. Uh, what is uh, it? The first uh, verb. Verb, okay. Verb plus uh, 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 no, uh, post, uh, plus our plus objective uh, pronoun plus objective pronoun uh, 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 is complement plus complement. It is signal the question the mark. The question mark. Question mark. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So let me see, Luis Enrique. Is do you agree with what Rufino said? Do you agree with we, uh, with what he said? Do you think that what he said is correct? Uh, well, to make a uh, in. The, to make a question with pronouns, we need to to use the verb to be, and the the formula is the verb plus motive pronouns plus a comment a question mark. There are two ways. Uh -huh. uh, demonstrative. Uh, pronouns e pronouns adjective. Pronouns adjective. Tatiana Pleites. Tatiana. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Um, if I have uh, a, a noun next to a demonstrative pronoun. Will that demonstrative pronoun will still be demonstrative pronoun or will it change to someone or to something else? Demonstrative pronoun change with the mm, next to the unknown mm -hmm. in, in demonstrative adjective. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much, Tatiana. Let me see, uh, Jacqueline. Yes, teacher. What happens if I have a verb next to a demonstrative pronoun? Will that still be a demonstrative pronoun or will it change to something else? Uh, I think the change. It changes, okay, let me see. Yes. Jenny Sanchez, do you agree with the, what Jacqueline said? Excuse me, teacher. I don't understand. Ooh, okay, let me see some, someone else. Estela, do you agree with what Jacqueline said? Estoy igual que la anterior. No me entiendo. What? No, o sea, no lo 
Do you mean that while I'm speaking or what? No, no me entienden lo que estoy yes. diciendo in English or what? Teacher. Uh -huh. Demonstrative is the most. I, I cannot listen to you, Maria, Veronica, your microphone is off. Demonstrative adjective plus noun. Plus noun, okay. Let me see, Patricia Veronica. Hello, Patricia. Hello. Okay, were you in the class yesterday? No. You were not. Um. Bueno, eh, ¿por qué no, no estuve presente? No, were you in the class? No le entiendo, <laughs> perdón. Can, can someone tell her what I'm saying? Uh, class. Ajá, estamos viendo que, en la clase. que eh, varios no me entienden y cuando pregunto que sí, todos dicen que sí entendieron. Este, perdón, yo ayer le escribí que no, no estuve en clases. Oh, it, it was, enferma, it enferma. was you? No, yes. I, I was just asking you, solo te estaba preguntando, estuviste en la clase. That no. was the only question. Okay, it's okay. So let me see, Brenda Villeda. Sí, teacher. Okay, so if I have a bird next to a demonstrative pronoun, will that still be a demonstrative pronoun or that will it change? Um, el día de ayer yo tampoco pude estar en la clase porque estaba, bueno, estoy mal de la garganta, entonces, y ayer estaba peor. Okay, let me see uh -huh. Cecilia then. Cecilia, did you listen to what I said? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, so what's your answer? Uh, no, sorry. So you uh, did understand or you didn't understand? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, you... I don't remember. Okay, guys. Uh -huh. uh, repeat again the question, please. Okay, so my question was, if I have a demonstrative pronoun and next to the demonstrative pronoun, I have a verb, will that still be a demonstrative pronoun or will it change? That's my question. Ay, teacher, slow, please, slow. <laughs> okay. La, el sonido del cargando, vea, cargando, cargando. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, Adriana, I see that you have, uh, you want to participate. Uh, demonstrative pronouns, uh, it's change. Mm -hmm. uh, por, bueno, no lo puedo decir así. En, en, no me sale en inglés, pero. Este, I will, I will allow you Spanglish. Spanglish, please. Uh -huh. Este, si le ponemos el, el verbo, es, si es pregunta, es un es, eh, adjetivo. O sea, un demostrativo. Adjetivo demostrativo. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, según el, lo gramaticalmente correcto, eh, en la, para hacer la pregunta es el verbo to be que sería el do no eh, uh, más o sea plus este tenemos aquí pronouns plus complement okay plus okay thank you very much now a question for you in general and listen to this I will say it slow very slow so every one of you can understand so I will give you an example of a sentence and you will have to tell me through the chat if I am using a demonstrative pronoun or if I am using a demonstrative adjective. Okay, so let me see, let me give it to you. I will say, this pen is red. This pen is red. Listen once again. This pen is red. Okay. Rodrigo Chicas already said that he thinks that is a demonstrative pronoun. 
What about the other ones? How give me you your pronounce? answers. Give me your answers through the chat. Okay, Veronica Martinez mm -hmm. says demonstrative pronoun. Jenny Sanchez says demonstrative adjective. Adriana, demonstrative pronoun. Lisette, demonstrative adjectives. Claudia, demonstrative adjective. Jacqueline, demonstrative pronoun. Catherine, demonstrative adjective. Rufino, demonstrative adjective. Claudia, demonstrative pronoun. Cecilia Melgar, demonstrative pronoun. Estela, demonstrative pronoun. Carlos, demonstrative adjective. Alejandrina, Alejandra, I'm sorry. Demonstrative adjective. Tatiana, demonstrative pronoun. Hilda, demonstrative pronoun. Christian, demonstrative pronoun. Norma Marbelli, demonstrative pronoun. Alba Saavedra, adjective. Maria Veronica, demonstrative adjective. Okay, let me see Hilda Solorzano. Why do you think it is a demonstrative pronoun? Why? You can say me. I'm sorry. You can say me. Yes. Es que ayer tenía problemas con el audio. No sé si me puede escuchar bien. I can listen to you clearly. Okay. Um, because um, this example the positive dies. Um, is demonstrative pronoun because okay, this is already a pen. Okay. Okay, so let me see. Let me tell you the people that is correct. Los que están en lo correcto son Jenny Sanchez, Lisette Montoya, Claudia Iraeta, uh, Catherine Villeda, I guess. Villeda, yeah. Uh, the Rufino, let me see who else, Carlos Dubon, Alejandra Cristina, and let me see who else, Alba Saavedra and Maria Veronica. You are the only ones that got it correct. Si, ¿Sí? ustedes pasaron a prueba. The other ones que pusieron demonstrative pronoun, me fallaron. ¿Por qué? I said... The sentence I said was, this pen is red. Yes? So, porque yes, dije teacher. pen, la yes. palabra pen significa, ¿qué significa? What, what does pen mean? Pen. Polígrafo, pluma, no. pluma de escribir. Polígrafo, mm -hmm. como nosotros le decimos en El Salvador, lapicero, right? Okay. It's a noun. Okay. So it's a noun. Y como ayer vimos, si tengo a demonstrative pronoun y a la par tengo un noun, entonces deja de ser demonstrative pronoun y se convierte en demonstrative adjective. Ahí estaba la respuesta. Okay. So thank you very much, guys, for participating. Ahí les queda esa duda, ¿verdad? Sí. It means that you have to study a little bit more so you don't get confused, okay? Are we clear? Teacher, uh, can you repeat the difference, please? The difference? What do you mean by the difference? Um, with demonstrative adjective and demonstrative noun. The difference is very clear. It is a demonstrative pronoun when I have a verb next to the demonstrative pronoun. If I have a noun next to the demonstrative pronoun, that demonstrative pronoun is no longer called demonstrative pronoun and it becomes a demonstrative adjective. Are we clear? Uh, no, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay. I don't understand. Okay, I will try to do it Spanglish then, okay? So if I have a demonstrative, which are the demonstrative pronouns, first of all? That's my question. ¿Cuáles son los demonstrative pronouns? Which one are these? That is this. Yeah. This. Okay, those. yeah, that of course, okay. Those. All right, so that's good. If I have a verb, si tengo un verbo a la par, what is that? Demonstrative or adjective? 
Demonstrative. Demonstrative pronoun. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si yo tengo un sustantivo a la parte del demonstrative pronoun? Pasa a adjetivo. Se deja de llamar demonstrative pronoun y como tengo un sustantivo a la par, se, se llama demonstrative adjectives y deja de llamarse demonstrative pronoun. Are we clear now, Cecilia? Yes, more or less, more or less. I creo que estoy captando ya la idea con, oh, con los oh. ejemplos. All right, no, okay. Okay. Yo tengo una pregunta. Este, ayer, uh -huh. si mal recuerdo, eh, dijo que se podía hacer también una pregunta con el demonstrative adjective. Pero yo estuve tratando de saber cómo hacer o cómo formar la pregunta y no, no pude. Ok. <laughs> let's, let's do the same example. The example that I told you is this pen is red. So let me let me let me text you that in the chat. This pen is red. Okay, I have there the the sentence. Can you see it on the chat? Okay. Okay. Now, what do I do to make a question? ¿Cómo hago la pregunta? Simple. Solo muevo el verbo to be al inicio y digo, Is this pen red? Something like that. Is this pen red? Question mark. Boom. Question. Okay. Thank you so much. Y si ocupo do en el inicio de la pregunta, es no. un demostrativo. No, no, no. If you use, si tú pones algo como do is this pen no, red. No, sea, sería un, sería demonstrative pronoun, o sea, utilizando otra, otra oración, no, si sí, el lapicero es rojo, o sea, otra, porque ayer puso una, un ejemplo, entonces, um, creo que no lo noté, uh, do you want this? Do you o sea, want puso un ejemplo, ajá, lo puse en demonstrative pronoun, utilizando do, You want this? Es, en los ejemplos del, 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 en, en la, de la presentación. Pres, presentation, sí, es, en, en the small, abajo, pequeñito está, do you, you, do do you, you want, want this? this? Entonces. Yesterday presentation. Where, where is that exactly? Uh, I, Oh, I got it. Yeah, I see it. Um, okay, in that case, that is possible. But why is that possible? Por qué es posible? Let me let me let me show that. Let me show that to you. Just let me see. Let me share the screen with you. Okay. I think you're talking about this one, right? That says here, do you want this? Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, we can say that, podemos utilizar esto, but, en este caso, el, el demonstrative pronoun está el solito, sin necesidad. Este verbo no está haciendo ninguna modificación en él. ¿Sí? Porque aquí me estoy refiriendo solamente que yo estoy diciendo esto. ¿Quieres esto? Do you want this? ¿Quieres esto? So it is possible to do that. En ese caso siempre va a ser tomado como demonstrative pronoun, pero el solito. Por eso de aquí dice, or by itself, por el mismo. ¿Sí? Is it, is it clear? No. Yes, teacher. So what... what Why, o sea, sí, 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 o sea, sí le entendí que no se refiere, o sea, en la, en la pregunta no se refiere a, a un objeto, a una persona en específico. A algo en exactly. Específico. Ah, mm -hmm. porque no cambia ni el verbo ni la palabra. Entonces, Exacto. se queda en su estructura normal. Todo. Puede, puede utilizar su, eh, por él solito, es decir, él solo. Un demonstrative mm -hmm. pronoun lo puedes utilizar por sí solo en una oración X. 
Sí, porque en esa situación lo estás utilizando a él solito, solo como un demonstrative pronoun, sin modificar nada, sin, sin hacer ningún cambio, no va a cambiar absolutamente nada porque no estás usando las structures o fórmulas que ya vimos ayer. Uh, are we clear on that, guys? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. All right, so let's move on to today's topic, guys. Today's topic is also a little bit of grammar, and I know sometimes grammar can be quite complicated. So that's why I always tell you, guys, if there's questions, if you don't understand something, Ask during the class. Pregunte. No hay ninguna pregunta que no tenga sentido. Todas tienen sentido. Why? Because you're learning a new language. And you can make as much questions as possible. Okay? So today we're going to learn, guys, about comparative adjectives. Adjetivos comparativos. Have you ever, guys, heard about it? Or do you have any idea about it? Or is you have idea? Okay, that's gonna be easier for you then. So let's let's start with that. First of all, we want to know what a comparative adjective is. Let me see. We have that our comparative adjectives are the words that we use to compare a difference between two things, two objects. And sometimes we even use it to compare two people, yeah? So, easy. Uh, comparative adjectives are always going to be used to compare or to make a difference between two things, objects, or person, okay? So let's see an example here. Smaller and bigger. So these are two comparative adjectives, small, smaller, and bigger. So with those two examples, we're going to try to understand how do we make comparative adjectives? Okay, <clears throat> let me see. So the first one or the first rule, it says that to make a comparative adjective word, we must change the adjective to the comparative form. And by general rule, por regla general, what we do, lo que hacemos es, a un adjetivo le agregamos la letra ER to make it comparative, para hacerlo comparativo. That's the general rule. But today we're going to learn step by step how to make an adjective comparative but this is the most general rule that we have. So let's start with the rules. To make the first rule, it says that with regular one syllable adjectives, we add ER to make the comparative form. You see, la regla dice que los adjetivos que tienen una sílaba, fast, Solo le agregamos ER, ER, para hacer la forma comparativa. ER, fast, faster. Fast, faster. Cambia la traducción, yes, it changes. Because if I say fast, what does fast mean, guys? Rápido. 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 So if I say faster, es más rápido. rápido. Ok. So that's the first rule. That's rule number one. See? Let's see what else do we have. We have another rule that says that with regular one and two syllable adjectives that end in the letter Y, we remove the letter Y and we change it for a letter I and we add ER to make the comparative form. Adjetivos 
que terminen en Y, we change the Y por la I latina, plus ER to make comparative. Example, happy, happier, happy, happier. Okay, are we understanding, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's see what we have in rule number three. It says that with adjectives that ends with a single vowel followed by a single consonant, the consonant is doubled and ER is added. What does it mean? If I have the pattern, si yo tengo un adjetivo como este, que tiene consonante, vocal, consonante, lo que voy a hacer es duplicar la última consonante y agregar ER. Big, bigger. But that only going to happen, guys, if you have the pattern, si tienen el patrón, consonant, vowel, consonant. If it is not like that, you cannot modify the verb in the, in the adjective, I'm sorry, in that way. So I remember if you see a, an adjective like that, which follows the pattern that I just told you, you will have to double the last consonant and you will have to add ER at the end. Are we clear on this rule? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So let's move on. It says that with two syllable adjectives that do not end in the letter Y, in all three syllable adjectives, we add the word more before the adjectives. So in that way, we're making comparative. Let's see, we have the adjective beautiful. How many syllables do you think that the word, that the adjective beautiful has? How three. many syllables? Three. Three, who said three? What's your name? More beautiful or five? Five, who said five? How many syllables guys do you think that adjective has? ¿Cuántas sílabas tiene? Three. 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 Five syllables. Three. Five syllables. Luis Enrique said, Luis, yeah, he said five. Rufino five said, syllables. Said three. So uh, let me see, Rufino, why do you think that is three? And then, Luis, you're going to tell me why do you think it is five? I repeat that the word is beautiful. Uh -huh. And now, what about I, I don't, I don't, I don't say it's in a correct, I correct. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. What's your opinion, Luis? Why do you think it has five? Because that word has uh, five vowels. Five vowels. Okay. Now, the right thing to know about the syllables is doing what Rufino did. Para saber si cuántas sílabas hacemos lo que Rufino hizo. We make the pronunciation. Bu, ri, fall. So we have three syllables. Bu, ri, fall. So in that way, we notice that those are three syllables, okay? Are we understanding, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, what are we going to do to this adjective? Simple, because it has three syllables. We are only going to add the word more before the adjective, and we will never, ever modify the adjective. The adjective will remain the same way. Okay. Claros. Okay, clear? teacher. Yes. Yes. Clear. Teacher. Uh -huh. If we make an exam right now, everyone will get a 10, right? 
Hacemos un examen ahorita, todos 10, como todos dicen, todos yes, dicen. teacher. Excelente. Yes, teacher. Quiero, quiero ver si entendí. Ajá. Cuando son tres eh, sílabas, se le agrega more. More. Y de lo contrario, er, o, o se le agrega la consonante igual, si termina, si está, digamos así como, como big, bigger. Así. Lo hacemos bigger porque... Uh -huh. Solo sigue, es sigue el consonante, patrón, vocal consonante. y consonante. Excelente, like that. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno, ya entendí entonces. Gracias. Right. Yo también ya capté. Ok, very good. So let's move on, guys. Those are the rules that we have to make comparative adjectives following all the rules. Those are the only rules that we have. But also, we have irregular adjectives, which means that these adjectives have their own comparative form. And we will try to learn today which one are they. So in this case, irregular adjectives, guys, do not, they never follow the rules that we just saw. So as you can see the, in the green letters, you must memorize them. Los adjetivos irregulares no siguen las reglas que vimos. Así que la única opción es memorizarlos. You must memorize them, okay? They are not too much. They are just like six or seven, something like that. So it's not difficult to, to memorize them. So we're going to see. Here we have the irregular adjective good and the comparative form of that is better. We have the irregular adjective bad and the comparative form is worse. We have the next one that is far and the comparative form is farther. We have the next one that is well, and it's better as well. So, let me see if we have, okay. All right, those ones are the main ones that we have, guys. So remember, good, better. No vamos a decir gooder, verdad? No, the doesn't exist, no. Because they do not follow the rules, okay? So just try to memorize them. That will be easier. So it's just four or six. Most of the time are just these ones because the other ones are kind of for the advanced level. So, but this is only for you to know the, uh, the very general information, okay? So with these irregular adjectives, guys, is there any, any question? Or we, are we clear on that? Well, the, the word clean. The word well, what? I clean. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you mean C L E A N? Yeah. Clean, cleaner. Ah, okay. Cleaner, yes. Thank you. All what right. Is bad. Uh huh. Stella, you have a question? ¿Qué es bad? Bad. What is the adjective bad, guys? Malo. 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 Gracias. Okay. All right. So, here we have the formula or the pattern that you will need to follow in order to make sentences using comparative adjectives. Esa es la formula that you have to follow. So let's go and see how do we make that. We have an example right here. Jill is faster than Toad. This word, esta palabra dan, casi siempre, almost always is going to be needed when you make a comparative. See? Siempre que estamos haciendo una comparación entre dos cosas, 
it's necessary to use or two, two people or animal or things, it's necessary to use the word then right after the comparative adjective. So, what is Jill? Si seguimos la fórmula, what's Jill? ¿Qué es Jill siguiendo la fórmula? That's the subject. What is? The verb. The verb. The verb. The verb. ¿Cuál es la forma base de ese adjetivo comparativo? La base. Fast. 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 Uh -huh. And you can see Dan Todd. So if I say Jill is faster than Todd, I'm saying Jill is más rápido que Todd. Okay? So if I say the, the example number two, it says my, my brother is clumsier than me. Mi hermano es más tonto que yo. Oh, más tontito que yo. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the formula, guys, that you will need to follow in order for you to make um, sentences grammatically correct. Also, we are going to see in some other examples that I have that the little, this word than sometimes is not necessary to use it, but we're going to try to understand that, okay? So let's move on. So, However, it says you can make the comparison without using the word than. Eso es lo que les decía. Hay veces podemos hacer comparaciones sin utilizar la palabra than. So it, it doesn't mean, no significa que solo porque no la utiliza, it va a estar mal. But let's see the examples. It says you might be tall, but I am taller. Tú podrías ser alto, pero yo soy más alto. As you can see here, we are not using the word than, even though we are making a comparison between you and someone else. Let's see example number two. I need to buy a more modern phone. Necesito comprar un teléfono más moderno. So, as you can see, we are making a comparison, but we are not using the word than. Do you have the idea why we're not using the word than? Repeat, Guys, hoy venimos, hoy venimos que el, el cerebro no nos quiere funcionar. Come. Okay. Because we, we use uh, the word more. Not exactly. Not exactly. Because, uh -huh. because no, no have subject. Pero si nos gusta más Dan, siempre es correcto. Okay, let, let me, okay. Let me see. If you notice, guys, si se fijaron in the example that we had, this example, in este ejemplo teníamos dos sujetos o dos cosas que estábamos comparando, las cuales mencionamos en la oración. Y es por eso que usamos than. En este caso, si bien estamos haciendo una comparación, pero no necesariamente estamos diciendo los dos sujetos en la misma oración. Es por eso que sí estamos haciendo una comparación, pero los dos sujetos no están en la oración. Es por eso que omitimos la palabra dan, porque dan únicamente va a ser utilizada cuando tú utilices dos sujetos, cosas, animales, para compararlos en la oración. Is that clear? Yes. So, uh, in these sentences, uh, the, first, uh, uh, the first sentences, you, you might be told mm -hmm. that, that la coma 
lo divide, but uh, the second the second sentences, but I am Tyler. I'm Is taller. this correct? The taller. Taller. So what do you mean? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir por es correcto? The, the comma? As if is the comma is uh, parte la, las dos oraciones. The first sentence is, is you might you might be tall. Yeah, I will tell you, I will tell you yes, porque si te doy una explicación gramaticalmente, nos vamos a meter. Sí, mejor no lo haga. <laughs> yeah, nos vamos a meter ahorita. In cosas de advance, but yes, <laughs> but yes, that comma it can make a little difference in that because it separates one phrase from the other one. Mm -hmm. O sea, que en oración no está comparando, por ejemplo, si es más alto o es más pequeño, sino que está comparando, o sea, la misma palabra. Por eso ocupa but. ¿Qué pasa si yo digo yo soy más alto que tú? ¿Utilizaría el Dan ahí? No. Sí. Sí, no. Por... Ah, sí. Yes, yes. Sí, es, porque está yes. ocupando. Yes, the same, the same, the same sentences. Excellent. You porque estoy, say... ocu estoy ocupando dos subjects. De, si yo digo yo soy más alto que tú, ¿cómo sería? Excellent. I am taller than you. You see? Entendemos ahora por qué usamos Dan y por qué hay veces no? Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. So, also, guys we can use quantifiers. Quantifiers, we call quantifiers to those words, a esas palabritas que nos dan una cantidad. For example, it says you can also add a quantifier to the comparative adjective to show degrees of difference in comparison. Let's see some examples. Example number one, I found this assignment a little easier than the last one. Do you understand that sentence, Guy? No, teacher. Okay. So, ¿cuál es el quantifier aquí? A little. little. Quantifiers son aquellos que nos dan cantidad, como un poquito, mucho, poquitito. You see? Those are quantifiers. So, in this case, let me see. The quantifier is a little, un poco. It says, encontré esta tarea o esta asignación un poco más fácil que la última. I found this assignment a little easier porque ya sabemos que cuen, cuando tenemos un comparative va a significar más, en este caso, easier, más fácil, ¿ok? Un poco más fácil que la última. Let's see example number two. It says, my new car, it's a lot quieter than the old rickety one. Do you understand that sentence? Mi nuevo carro es, eh, es más lento que mi carro What viejo. Es más, es más silencioso, más callado que el otro ruidoso o chillante, ¿verdad? Okay, are we understanding that, guys? Do you understand this part? Yes. 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 Yes, para todos? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Clear as the water. Claro como el agua. Yes. Wow. If you're saying yes, it means for me that you understood the assignment. So, if that suggests, let's go to the practice now and let's see how well you understood that. So you already know what to do. 
take a screenshot picture of that and let me know so I can move to the next one. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. This one. I think that we have enough with that one, see? I think that's enough. So were you all able to get the screen, screenshots? Uh, no teacher, the, the primera no pude. I don't have the two picture. Okay, just let me see. The first one you said. Second. This is the first one. Thanks. Okay. All right. Second. Second? Second. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the breaker rooms, guys. Please, once again, siempre que reviso hay algunos que ahí están en Spanish. Try to practice your English, guys, please. So everyone join your groups. Hello guys, what happened with you? Were you not able to move to your groups? Claudia? Frogis. Better than Frank. Other, I think it's other because uh, in the in the box or tapos, eh? this is yes, nine. Ten, nine, four years. Uh, I think we have to make a, a comparison with, with all sports. Yeah, I don't understand what exactly we have to do. Yes. No, I think okay. Eh, abajo hay, dice Q, y tiene three, yeah. three yeah. plus and that. <laughs> so it's. Ah, oh, yeah. I think I. Oh. So the first, the second, creo que sería four. 
is worse because <clears throat> first only one 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 plus and Frank has to. Y si nos pasamos al siguiente slide, dejemos este de último. Yes, perfect. Okay. <risa> okay. Y también. Oh, es el teacher. <risa> Yeah. Uh, uh, a deer is smaller than an elephant. Maybe. Teacher, es que no comprendimos bien la idea. Sí, un poco el comparativo, pero de sobre la imagen no comprendemos la anterior. Ahí aparecen los sapitos, right? Uh -huh. So you have uh, crosses, hay unas cruces ahí que les dan la idea de hacer un comparativo. Yes. Yeah. So, oh. For example, this is a fijan frog, tiene cuatro años, ¿qué adjetivo podríamos utilizar para describir la edad? Small. Eh, little. El adjetivo old. 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 Sí, de, 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 de. Entonces, si dice que frag. Uh, si puede... is older than older. frog. No. ¿Quién, es, quién oh. es el más, el, el más viejo? Es frug. frug. Oh. Entonces, oh. ahí pueden utilizar frug is older than frag. Sí, ahí tienen en el adjetivo good, tiene frag, frag tiene tres crucecitas, frag tiene dos y frog tiene una. Entonces, ¿qué les está diciendo? Que uno es más bueno que el otro. Luego, beautiful. El que tiene más es porque es más bonito que el otro. And so on. Y así hacen las comparisons. Ok, creo que sí ya comprendí. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Necesitamos su ayuda. Ok, entonces el primero que daría, frag is older. Frag is beautiful. Ajá. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. Uh, and got good, ah, uh, is that gooder, gooder and beautiful? Uh, I don't think for me or all, all uh, uh, ugly, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> yes, more ugly <laughs> because uh, the most beautiful is frail. Friend is more beautiful than fruit. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, in this good, what's good? Uh, do you remember? Good? The comparative good? Is better. Yes, it's better. Better. Who, who is better? Um, I don't Nos habíamos equivocado, ¿verdad? I don't know. Uh -huh. Sí, porque era más bueno y lo otro más bonito, ¿verdad? Más bonito. Yes, but uh, it's, okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, more, more beautiful, who? Who more beautiful? Uh, I would say is all ugly. But uh, in, in the. Entonces, la primera es better, ¿verdad? Fra is. Fra is yeah, better than fro. Yes, better. 
than frog. Frog is mejor que fru. Uh, fru is, okay. is, is more beautiful than fresh. Um, uh, que puede ser que pongamos en la última que frag, no, en la penúltima, Fred is happier than fra, fro, fru. Yes. Oh, or. When, um, frag is better than frog. Or or hello. Yes, yes, I can um I can hear you. I don't understand. Okay. okay. Is there the uh -huh, porque the mejor is the the worst? Hmm. Next answer, so I I can understand you. Yeah. ¿Y quién es el prep que estoy adivinando prácticamente? Porque no sé cómo poner menos en inglés. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I say a question. A question? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's your in question? The, in the last sentence. Mm -hmm. Frank is. O sea, en español. Según las ranitas, Frank mm -hmm. es menos hermoso que Frank. Pero, ¿cómo lo pongo? Menos. ¿Cómo? Ok. Why, why, why are you saying that it's menos? Less. Less beautiful ah, than okay. frog. Less, less beautiful than frog. Less, menos. Thanks, teacher. Okay, and the last. Your book. My book. Your book. Your book. Your book. Uh -huh. Your book. Your book. Is more interesting than mine. Teacher, my yes. team, we we don't understand the exercise one. Okay, I saw the majority of you had problems with exercise one. Okay, uh, yeah. you can explain, please. Yeah, just let me see the other ones just to come back. Okay, to thank me. you. All right, so let's see. 
I saw all of the groups struggling with exercise number one, with the little frogs. So, just let me see, all right. Okay. So we can see here, right? Oh my God. Okay, here. We have frog. We have this guy. We can say which we have words here. Tenemos eh, adjetivos acá. So frag. Podrían utilizar cualquier adjetivo. Este está sorprendido, feliz, triste. So bonito, beautiful, good. Tenemos nine, four, and ten years. Que podríamos utilizar the adjective old para referirnos a la edad. So frag is, él es el más pequeño de todos, no? So we can say frag is smaller than frog. It's just about using your logic, see? ¿sí? Es de utilizar la lógica, just the logic. O sea que vamos a comenzarlos a comparar según lo que veamos en las imágenes de ellos. Exactly, exactamente. Ah, okay. Según lo que ves, <ríe> lo que se vea, ahí tienen incluso cuatro Estamos años, perdidos, diez años. Teacher. I see that, yes, I see that. Fui por todos los grupos y vi que todos, ¿y qué ponemos? Y que yo no entiendo, ¿y qué hacemos aquí? ¿Qué hacemos allá? Here you have. Uno es más grande, otro es más pequeño, uno es más bonito. Incluso acá les tienen las cruces, ¿sí? Quiere decir que el más bueno de los tres es frag. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene tres cruces. Frag tiene dos y frog tiene una. ¿Cuál es el más bonito? Frag porque tiene tres cruces. So, era solo de logic, lógica. See, so each one of the groups, were you all able to complete the exercise? Todos lo terminaron? Because I saw... So, no. No? No, teacher. No, no totally. A question. <laughs> Who has a question? And um, exercise two, number five, number five, no sabíamos con qué poner. Let me see, let me see what you have. In exercise number two, number five. Okay, let me let me see that. So number five. Fear. Fear. Uh -huh. Fear. 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 Si ya tenemos la letra e y la regla dice que se le agrega er, ¿qué es lo que le vamos a agregar? Agregar er. La er. La er. Simple as that. Simple. Hay veces nos hacemos chivola nosotros mismos cuando la respuesta la tenemos right in front of you. ¿Sí? Enfrente. Do not complicate yourself, guys. No se compliquen tanto. So, you know the rules? You know that. Si ya termina en E, fácil. Le agrega R. ¿Sí? Okay. Obviously, fijándose en all the rules that we already learned. ¿Ok? So, Um, try to work on, on the exercises, guys. Esto no va a ser tarea, solo es para que ustedes practiquen. ¿Sí? Practice. Okay. Practiquen, please. It's not a homework. So, tienen el fin de semana libre. We can off. So, I will see you until Monday, okay? So, okay. thank you so much, guys. Uh, uh, un favor, un favor. Yes. El que tal vez nos pueda compartir la presentación, por favor, porque el jueves pasado no nos las compartió y pues nos quedamos en las nubes. Yeah, I'm sorry. My, my deepest yes, apologies please. for that. Yes, I will try I to do it right I have a question. Now. Go ahead, sir. And the platform is mm -hmm. uh, section three in section four. Mm -hmm. We do, we, I, we will do oh, oh, how, many, how many section finish for this week. Oh, it's not actually, well, actually, eh, si ustedes pueden avanzar más porque sienten que pueden hacerlo solo con la ayuda de los mini videos que les ponen ahí, ustedes pueden seguir avanzando. No necesariamente ir 
si lo quieren hacer clase y después práctica en la platform, you can do it. Pero si lo pueden terminar solo con la mini explicación que ahí les da, you, you are free to do it. ¿Sí? Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to the class. So see you on Monday at the same time and the same channel. Okay. okay. Have a good night you, and enjoy. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.